Scientists have discovered that Australia's deadliest spider, the Sydney funnel web, is actually three different species. The discovery was made by a spider enthusiast and now the new species has been named after him. Kane Christensen joins us now with uh, a couple of ex examples of the species. Mm -hmm. Full disclosure, Kane, I am uh, not a big fan of spiders. That's so okay. I'm slightly My wife is the same. I understand totally. Okay. It's fine. I'm not trying to scare you. Yeah. No, no. A bit nervous to see there's no lid on yes. uh, that big uh, spider. So you brought two in. You've, the one with the open um, yep. box is the larger one. This is correct. the one that's this just is, been named. This yeah. is one you took to the museum. Australian Museum yeah, correct. last week. Uh, it's, right. it's been there for, it's actually been going for quite a while. Okay. The, the, the specimen has been sent down to the museum and the the work, the DNA analysis and all of the other background work that goes into naming a new species has all been done by the museum and right. collaboration with a bunch of other people, taking a long time. But yeah, this is the new one. And officially Hemsworth, officially? Uh, so it is Atrax Christensenii or Christensen-y. Um, and it's just the Newcastle funnel web, basically. Okay. So it was thought to be part of the Sydney funnel web, but it's been separated now into three different species in this one area. So that is the Newcastle funnel web. What's the difference between um, the bigger spider and the other one that you have there, which is slightly smaller, but not much. That, that yeah, goes in the different areas. It, it Sydney, will be, yeah. It? So the, the Sydney funnel web, the typical Sydney mm. funnel web, or Atrax robustus that we know of, uh, found around the Sydney basin, also up around the central coast, right out to the Blue Mountains and down south. Um, towards Nara, you can find them in there. They're the ones that everyone knows about. Now they've done the, the paper and the DNA analysis, they've actually found that there's three separate species in that one. Yeah. Um, we've got the Christensen eye, the Robustus, which is the Sydney funnel web, and there's also the Southern Sydney funnel web, which is um, the Montanus as well. So yeah, they've been separated now. How'd you feel about having that new one named after you? Unbelievable. <laughs> so to have a funnel web named after you, that you, you love funnel webs, it's great. To have something named after you is always really, really good. But to have, a, yeah, the biggest and yeah, one of the best, it's amazing. So what made you think that the, the Hemsworth or um, yep. the larger one was different apart from in size to other Sydney funnel webs? Yeah, so it's hard for a lot of people to understand, but the amount of spiders that we would get through coming every day, we would be milking when I was working at the Reptile Park mm -hmm. to take venom for funnel web um, anti-venom production. You get to notice different things. They walk differently. You might be able to pick that up in the camera. They just move differently. The size of it was a massive thing. These are adult males. They're not going to get much bigger than that. 90% yeah. uh, of them coming through the door are like this. Um, we get some other species as well, but only one or two percent were coming through the doors that size. It is a quite a large, substantial difference when you're looking at them next to each other. There's also a few little morphological features, different uh, appendages and, and the spurs on them. The mating spurs are slightly different. But yeah, it's mainly the size and its copulatory organs at the front are also a lot larger. And because it's bigger, does that mean it's more poisonous? Uh, the venom has got very similar toxin, uh, toxins in it. It will also be definitely a, a medically significant spider. Because of the size of the fangs and the size of the venom glands, there's a potential for it to give you more venom or possibly a deeper puncture wound. So um, yeah, all funnel webs shouldn't be handled. They are definitely a medically significant spider but there is a possibility this one could do you quite a bit of damage. I have to ask you, Kane, you are a spider enthusiast. What is it about them that you love? Uh, I've always loved spiders since I was a little kid, but the funnel web, just the, the black, the, the sheer black, the size, everything about them, when they stand up in their defensive posture, they're just amazing. They are absolutely beautiful, stunning spiders. Well, Kane, last time we had a Sydney funnel web in the studio, it actually got out. Oh, excellent, yeah. So we'll, we'll very try, happy we'll try to our best not to today. <laughs> The two you brought in are behaving. Yeah, beautiful. Kane, thank you so much for coming. My pleasure.